summoned to court to answer for the crimes of your bannerman, Gregor Clegane, the mountain. Uh, arrive within the fortnight, I'll be branded an enemy of the crown. Hornet Stark, brave man, terrible judgment. Attacking him was stupid. <laughs> Lannisters don't act like fools. You gonna say something clever? Go on, say something clever. Catelyn Stark took my brother. Why is he still alive? Tyrion? Ned Stark. One of our men interfered. Speared him through the leg before I could finish him. Why is he still alive? It wouldn't have been clean. Clean? You spend too much time worrying about what other people think of you. I could care less what anyone thinks of me. You know, that's what you want people to think of you. It's the truth. When you hear them whispering Kingslayer behind your back, doesn't it bother you? Of course it bothers me. A lion doesn't concern himself with the opinions of a sheep. You will go to King's Landing. And do what? Rule. Well, you will serve as Hand of the King in my stead. You'll bring that boy King to heel and his mother too, if needs be. And if he gets so much as a whiff of treason from any of the rest, Baelish, Varys, Pycelle... Head spikes walls. Why not my uncle? Why not anyone? Why me? You're my son. This will be my last war. Win or lose. Have you ever lost before? Do you think I'd be in my position if I'd lost a war? This is the one I'll be remembered for. I will keep you safe. My love, I promise you. Battle is over. We have won. <laughs> I, Joffrey of the House Baratheon, first of my name, the rightful king of the Andals and the first men. Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm, do hereby proclaim my grandfather, Tywin Lannister, the saviour of the city and the hand of the king. Thank you, Your Grace. Tyrells are a problem. The Tyrells helped us defeat Stannis Baratheon. The Tyrells saved your life, your children's lives. Marjorie has her claws in Joffrey. She knows how to manipulate him. Good. I wish you knew how to manipulate him. I don't distrust you because you're a woman. I distrust you because you're not as smart as you think you are. You've allowed that boy to ride roughshod over you and everyone else in this city. Perhaps you should try stopping him from doing what he likes. I will. Our Starks have marched home. 
The young wolf has lost half his army, his days are numbered. Theon Greyjoy murdered both his brothers. That makes Sansa Stark the heir to Winterfell. And I am not about to hand her over to the Tyrells. The Tyrell army is helping us to win this war. Do you really think it's wise to refuse them? There's nothing to refuse. This is a plot. Plots are not public knowledge. And the Tyrells won't carry this one out until after Joffrey's wedding. We need to act first and kill this union in its crib. And how do we do that? We find Sansa Stark a different husband. Wonderful. Yes, it is. You can't mean it. I can, and I do. Joffrey has made this poor girl's life miserable since the day he took her father's head. Now she's finally free of him and you give her to me? That's cruel, even for you. You intend on mistreating her? The girl's happiness is not my concern, nor should it be yours. She's a child! She's flowered, I assure you. She and I have discussed it at length. There, you see? You will wed her, bed her, and put a child in her. Surely you're capable of that. And if I refuse? You wanted to be rewarded for your valor in battle. Sansa Stark is a finer reward than you could ever dare hope for. And it is past time you were wed. I was wed. Oh, don't you remember? Only too well. You should be thanking the gods for this. This is more than you deserve. Tyrion will do as he's bid. Huh. As will you. <clears throat> what do you mean? You'll marry Sir Loras. I will not. The boy is heir to High Garden. Tyrion will secure the North. You will secure the Reach. No, I won't do it. Yes, you will. You're still fertile. You need to marry again and breed. I am Queen Regent, not some brood man. You're my daughter! You will do as I command, and you will marry Loras Tyrell, and put an end to the disgusting rumors about you, once and for all. Father, don't make me do it again, please. Not another word. My children. You disgraced the Lannister name for far too long. If you refuse to marry Loras to Cersei, I will name him to the King's Guard. I'm sure you're familiar with the King's Guard vows. He will never marry. He will never have children. No. The Tyrell name will fade. And High Garden will go to the children of Joffrey and Marjorie. You would have your grandson protected by someone who disgusts you. I would have my grandson protected by a skilled warrior who takes his vows seriously. So. Shall I draw up the order? Or do you consent to this match? It's a rare enough thing. A man who lives up to his reputation. I'd like a report on the meetings of my small council. You're welcome to attend the meetings of your small council, Your Grace. Any or all of them. I've been very busy. Many important matters require a king's attention. Of course. You've been holding the council meetings in the Tower of the Hand instead of the small council chamber. I have, yes. May I ask why? Well, the Tower of the Hand is where I work. To walk from there to here would take time. Time I could otherwise spend productively. So, if I wanted to attend a council meeting, I would now have to climb all the stairs in the Tower of the Hand? We could arrange to have you carried. Your Grace. I am the King! I will punish you. Any man who must say, I am the King, is no true King. I'll make sure you understand that when I've won your war for you. My father won the real war. He killed Prince Rhaegar. He took the crown while you hid on a castle rock!
The king is tired. See him to his chambers. Come along. I'm not tired. We have so much to celebrate. A wedding to plan. You must rest. Grand Maester, perhaps some essence of nightshade to help him sleep. I'm not tired! You just sent the most powerful man in Westeros to bed without his supper. You're a fool if you believe he's the most powerful man in Westeros. A treasonous statement. Joffrey is king. You really think a crown gives you power? No. I think armies give you power. Mm -hmm. Rob Stark had one. Never lost a battle. And you defeated him all the same. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. Walder Frey gets all the credit. All the blame, I suppose, depending on your allegiance. Walder Frey is many things, but a brave man, no. He never would have risked such an action if he didn't have certain assurances. Which he got from me. Do you disapprove? I'm all for cheating. This is war. But to slaughter them at a wedding... Explain to me why it is more noble to kill 10,000 men in battle than a dozen at dinner. So that's why you did it? To save lives? To end the war. To protect the family. Do you want to write a song for the dead Starks? Go ahead, write one. I'm in this world a little while longer. To defend the Lannisters, to defend my blood. The Northerners will never forget. Good. Let them remember what happens when they march on the south. All the Stark men are dead. Winterfell is a ruin. Roose Bolton will be named Warden of the North until your son by Sansa comes of age. I believe you still have some work to do on that score. Do you think she'll open her legs for me? After I tell her how he murdered her mother and brother? One way or another, you will get that girl pregnant. Will not rape her. Shall I explain to you in one easy lesson how the world works? Use small words. I'm not as bright as you. The house that puts family first will always defeat the house that puts the whims and wishes of its sons and daughters first. A good man does everything in his power to better his family's position regardless of his own selfish desires. Does that amuse you? No, it's a very good lesson. Only it's easy for you to preach utter devotion to family when you're making all the decisions. Easy for me, is it? When have you ever done something that wasn't in your interest, but solely for the benefit of the family? The day that you were born. I wanted to carry you into the sea and let the waves wash you away. Instead, I let you live. And I brought you up as my son. Because you're a Lannister. This isn't a trial, it's a farce. Cersei has manipulated everything and you know it. I know nothing of the sort. You've always hated Tyrion. He killed his king. As did I. Do you know the last order the Mad King gave me? To bring him your head. I saved your life so you could murder my brother. It won't be murder, it'll be justice. Justice? I'm performing my sworn duty as Hand of the King. If Tyrion is found guilty, he will be punished accordingly. He'll be executed. No, he'll be punished accordingly. Once you said, family is what lives on, all that lives on. Told me about a dynasty that would last a thousand years. What happens to your dynasty when Tyrion dies? I'm a king's guard, forbidden by oath to carry on the family line. I'm well aware of your oath. What happens to your name? Who carries the lion banner into future battles? Your nephews? Lancel Lannister? Others whose names I don't even remember. What happens to my dynasty if I spare the life of my grandson's killer? It survives. 
through me. I'll leave the king's court. I'll take my place as your son and heir if you let Tyrion live. Done. 